Welcome back. Previously, we've used the STM32WB Nucleo board most of the time. In this app video session, we're going to explore the STM32WB USB dongle. Both the Nucleo board and the USB dongle has PCB antennas, LEDs, and user switch. However, there's one major difference between these two, which is the onboard ST link. The Nucleo board has the onboard ST link with exposed pins connected with jumpers whereas the USB dongle doesn't. In order to run firmware applications on this USB dongle, there are two ways. First, use the DFU mode to download the firmware application. Second, connect an ST link on the USB dongle. Before we start, I hope you're getting familiar with the tools provided by the ecosystem. Please check whether the tools are prepared and make sure both the FUS and the BLE stack are running on the USB dongle. You can check video 3, 9, and 11 regarding these requirements. For detailed information about the DFU or the Bluetooth ACI commands, please check the application notes. Let's try the first option using the USB and DFU. Besides connecting an ST-Link debugger, you can use the USB DFU bootloader to flash the USB dongle. The ST built-in USB bootloader supports the USB DFU protocol to program and reprogram STM32WB microcontrollers using USB. DFU mode runs the STM32's built-in USB bootloader to program the user application. To enable the STM32's built-in USB bootloader to run, the boot zero pin must be connected to VDD. For this case, please toggle switch two to position one to connect the boot zero pin to VDD. If switch two, is toggled to position zero. The boot zero is connected to ground, so the USB dongle will run the user application after it is powered on. In this video, we're going to use the BLE transparent example. You can find this example inside the QWB project file. In my case, I'll use the duplicate copy of this project created previously. The transparent mode example is an example that runs the STM32WB device as a virtual COM port. By doing so, the user can send commands to the STM32WB using STM32CubeMonitorRF to communicate with the BLE wireless stack directly. Let's program the transparent mode example to the USB dongle. There is a pre-built binary hex file inside the binary folder and this hex file can be programmed to the dongle using the DFU mode. Position switch 2 to DFU mode, then connect the USB dongle to your laptop. If you are using multiple DFU mode devices, please check the USB serial number. To do this, open the Device Manager tab and check the properties of the USB DFU device. By reading the Information tab, you can see the serial number as highlighted. Run the STM32Q programmer and select the USB option from the drop-down box. After it is connected, click the Erase and Programming menu, navigate to the transparent mode example to select the binary hex file. Click Start Programming and you've successfully programmed the USB dongle. Let's try the second option as well. For the first option, toggle switch 2 to normal mode. Next, as you've noticed from the USB dongle schematic, we need to solder a pin header before we start. If you have an ST-Link debugger, either version 2 or 3, you can wire it to your dongle following this guideline. You can use the one on the Nucleo board as well. Note that you must use the second column on jumper 5 as highlighted. Also, shut off the STM32WB on the Nucleo board by removing jumper 2. After wiring the USB dongle to the debugger, connect both devices to your laptop like this. Let's open the project file with your preferred IDE. In my case, I'll use the STM32Cube IDE. Navigate to the transparent mode example folder. For this exercise, I will import the SW4STM32 project file to STM32Cube IDE. Open this dot .project file to start importing it. You've now imported it. 
Now let's build this project by pressing the hammer icon. The build is finished. Set the debug configuration. Make sure this is using the ST-Link SWD interface. Then press OK to start debugging. With the transparent mode example, the BLE wireless deck can be directly controlled using the STM32 Cube Monitor RF. The transparent mode example is now programmed to the USB dongle. Position switch 2 to normal mode and let's check the COM port and run the STM32 Cube Monitor RF. In my case, the USB dongle's COM port is COM6. Let's choose the BLE menu from the Cube Monitor RF and select COM6 from the drop-down menu. The dongle is successfully connected. We can send ACI commands, make the dongle act like a beacon, or do other things using the stm 32 cube monitor RF. That's all for this video app session. Thank you, and we will meet again with other video app series.